Okay, so here's question one uh, from the uh, the worksheet that I gave you all. Um, it's just another exercise in uh, in half lives. So let's just familiarise uh, ourselves with what half life is. Okay, we've got uh, a graph here, and this curve shows the uh, percentage of radioactive material, radioactive isotope that's left um, over a period of time. Um, the bottom axis is always a time axis. This one is in thousands of years because uh, for radioactive carbon-14 uh, the half-life is sometimes you write it like that, sometimes you write it like that, it doesn't really matter. The half-life is about seven, 5,700 years-ish. Okay, and that's the value we're going to be using uh, in, in this exercise today. Okay, so let's have a look and see what the question said. The frozen mammoth has been found in uh, some ice in Norway somewhere, and the government's given you a one kilogram sample. Okay, so this sample over here, okay, um, let's say they've given you a kilogram of that. And the other information that we're given is that one kilogram of living mammoth flesh, not quite sure how they would get some living mammoth flesh now, but that's you know, we'll suspend our disbelief for the question, is um, a kilogram of living mammoth flesh has 4,000 counts per minute. Now let's just take a second to think about what this means. Okay, So if you were to cut, if you were, um, a kilogram of material from this flesh, uh, what it means is basically in 60 seconds, one minute, Okay, how much alpha shoots out, how much beta radiation shoots out, and how much gamma radiation shoots out. That's all it's doing. So it's just counting uh, how much uh, radiation comes off per minute. And, it, and its, its units are literally count, because it, you know, we're just counting the number of things that come off. Okay, well we've got three questions to answer. Um, we've got the percentage of the original carbon-14 that's left, that's easy. Uh, how many half-lives is this? Um, and we're going to use this value and the graph above and find out how old the mammoth is. So let's get started. Uh, the sample that we have been given of this mammoth um, has radiation of 250 counts per minute, 250 alpha, beta, or gamma uh, radiation. Okay, as we've covered earlier on in the topic. Now, okay, uh, we're actually only asked to calculate the percentage of the original carbon-14 left. Okay, well, the moment it died, okay. Uh, so this is at the moment of death, okay, all of this radiation that's, that's coming off this particular kilogram of flesh, if you like, um, comes out at 4,000 counts per minute. Sometime later, many, 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 many thousands of years later, okay, let's draw a slightly different colour, uh, we have uh, a similar piece, similar size bit of uh, mammoth flesh. It's, it's dead mammoth flesh, okay, but this time, much, much later, after you know, many, many years, it's only 250 counts per minute. Okay, so let's do some figuring out. What percentage is this? Well, they don't come much easier than this. Okay, to find a percentage, okay, uh, we're just going to take the total amount of radiation when it was alive, and we're going to have that as the denominator part of this little fraction here. And um, the top part is how much radiation there is now compared to how much there was then. So we make our fraction up and percentages just times it by 100. So let's have a quick look. Dead simple. Uh, where's the calculator? Okay, so here we go. Um, it is 250 divided by 4000 uh, and we'll just multiply that up by 100 to get uh, a percentage and 6.25. I think you can see I did that slightly earlier on. Okay, so the percentage we want is dead simple. It's 6.25%. Now, uh, the second question says, how many half-lives is this? Well, this is this is a nice, easy thing to consider. Okay, and we're going to start out by imagining how long it takes uh, The radiation to get down from this figure, okay, you know, many thousands of years pass, okay, and it gets down to this figure. Well, how many half lives does that take? Uh, well, it's dead simple, okay. One half life, let's remember, 
5,700 years, okay? And in that time, in that time, the radiation will go down by a half. That's why it's called a half-life. So in one half-life, we'll get down to 2,000 counts per minute, if anyone was around to uh, measure it in those days. Uh, after a second half-life, the amount of radiation will decrease by half to 1,000. And by a third half-life, we'll be down to 500 counts per minute. And after a fourth half-life, we will be down to 250. So the answer is, it's going to be four half-lives. One, two, three, four. Now we're going to use this value and the graph above to find out how old the mammoth is. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, let's use the graph. We're looking there's 6.25% of the radioactive carbon left compared to how much carbon uh, was in uh, radioactive carbon was in the mammoth when it died. So that's when it died. Sometime over here, okay, many years in the future, it will have dropped all the way down to about 6. So let's call that about 6% there. We're going to use the graph, just come straight across there, and read it off down there. And, you know, something like that there. What's that? 20, 22, 24. So round about between 21 to 22,000 years ago. Uh, we can actually work that out a little bit better than using the graph because we could also check that. Four half lives, okay, uh, means uh, we've got four lots of 5,700. And we can just multiply that out again. There's the calculator again. So 4 times 5,700, uh, and that equals 22,800. So the last answer here okay, uh, will be uh, 22,800 years, which kind of fits in with how we read it off from the graph. That's roughly round about that. Okay, that's the first question uh, on the homework sheet.